35 soldiers from Camp Zama worked with former NBA players Chris Bosch, Sean Marion, and Dikembe Mutombo to prepare 500 care packages for children at orphanages around Camp Zama and another 500 for soldiers stationed at isolated areas in Japan. Uh, the NBA has been working with the military uh, around the world for many years and uh, it's core to our uh, DNA to be able to embrace you and to support service members and their families. I want to thank uh, the NBA and also uh, MGM for giving us an opportunity to take part in this great program. Uh, it's something that we really hold near and dear to our hearts, being able to give back to the community. We, you know, we kind of treat the communities around all of our different installations as our families. So giving back to the kids and then also we're going to push these out to some of those installations to where just to give back a little bit, to thank them and to let them know that how we feel about them. Today we had a great opportunity to work with the NBA. They, we found out years ago that they was having games here in Japan. And once we found that out, we reached out to the NBA to see what we can do as far as from the boss side and MWR side to help support this event. The soldiers who belong to Camp Zama's Better Opportunities for Single Soldiers program, or BOSS, and the NBA players were divided into two groups. They worked in an assembly line fashion to put together the care packages. The care packages for the orphanages included items like school supplies and candy, while those for the soldiers included licensed goods that the NBA provided. It was fun, it was a little competitive, everybody wanted to go head to head to everybody. Um, the NBA legends, they were really great people, so nice, very generous, very genuine people. I just like to volunteer, so it's more of to give back, not more of my pleasure, but you know, it's a little bit just to give back. Oh, I decided to come because I feel like it's always good to give back. You know, we sacrifice a lot, but we can always make more sacrifices. And you know, me coming from being adopted as a child and helping out orphanages, it, may, it, holds a, it holds a special place in my heart, you know. So it feels good to always give back to the community at any point in time you can. I know we're always busy, but you can never be too busy to help someone else out. Oh, it was fun. I, I, so I've been a big Chris Bosch fan since like 2003. I followed his whole career from like college all the way through the NBA. Like it was great. And then also the Kim Batumbo, I got to see him play when I was a little child. Uh, when they played the Hornets back in North Carolina. So yeah, I've been a big fan of Sean Marion, watching his championship with the Mavericks back in 2007, big deal. Uh, yeah, I love it. I, I love everything about it. Like, it was great working with them. Chris Bosch and Sean Marion, two NBA legends with three championship titles between them, explain the importance of supporting the U.S. military through events like this. You know, what more can I say about the soldiers, man? They, they do so much for us and, uh, you know, it's the reason why why we, we're safe at home and at home in the state. So like the same time though, just to give back to little stuff like this, it's nothing compared to the bigger things that they do for us. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I always tell the guys, you know, how much we're, we thank them and, um, you know, how much we support them. I have um, a cousin that's recently retired after 23 years in the service. I have a cousin right now who's getting on his 20th year in the service. You know, so it's all, I have a, another cousin that's retired, you know, it's, um, it's, it's very near and dear to my heart. It's, it's uh, been in my family and my wife's family. And, you know, talking to them, they've given me different insight on their stories and what they go through and stuff. And so when I visit bases and do, you know, events like this, I make sure I talk to the guys and just, you know, just talk, man, and hang out. The soldier volunteers were also invited to a preseason opening game in Saitama between the Houston Rockets and the Toronto Raptors. Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan, this is Dustin Perry.